Hey, yo, check this out. So, um, Jim Jones is probably not as bad as people think he is. I'm just saying. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. Hey, you know how I usually start these videos off with so apparently? We're skipping all that today. Yo, do y'all remember when Shadi was telling people about why he had the authority to do and say the things that he wanted to say? It was when he first came on board as 6ix9ine's handler. And I'm calling him 6ix9ine's handler, okay? And I'm not using that as any type of uh, terminology to try to say anything nefarious. Let's just get this clear. I'm just trying to say that he was the individual that was um, helping us bridge the gap between the public and takashi often like you know takashi would come speak to us but at the same time shoddy was with him he was like his uh suge knight i don't know no other way to say it anyway but not his manager takashi was his own manager he does all his own management work he's his own manager with that being said uh shoddy was doing some kind of interview on like ig live or something like that and they asked him on ig live one of the questions was what makes him think that he has the authority in which he has to say some of these things in the street that he was saying and he actually said he has the authority and it was given to him from mail matrix now with all that being said just so we could be clear on a couple of things i'm not just talking and i'm not just i'm not uh, dry snitching on nobody or nothing like that but as we already know uh when the federal government uh prosecuted Treyway. they put male matrix up at the top of the board they considered male matrix one of the godfathers can we just take a real side note right now um i i don't know Mel personally but i will say this there was a part that the people were talking about because it was in a, a text message or a conversation i can't remember offhand well, Mel said that he didn't even like being called the Godfather, and one of the reasons was is because there was people who deserved that title more than him who was still alive. So, could we get that man a salute real quick? Um. Anyway, with that being said, Shadi said that Mel gave him the authority to do and say the things that he was saying, and that's why he was able to be in the streets the way he was. Now, for everybody that know, Mel was part of Bird Gang at one time. Bird Gang is a uh, rap group or yeah rap group a collective that also used to have jim jones in it if y'all remember jim jones was in bird gang so jim jones and male matrix had a close relationship some would say they were like brothers so what some people might not know is when shoddy got the call to be standing next to takashi 69 that call actually came from male and from what I hear, Mel, as far as the music industry is concerned, he asks Jim Jones sometimes about his movements and how he should take. Now, the, the proof of that is, remember that super um, violate thing that people kept trying to say, Mick Kill, which it does not. I'm going to say this again. Please, people who know nothing about New York terminology, please stop saying that super violate Mick Kill. Please stop trying to get these guys death sentences or, or a million years in jail because you don't understand what something meant. Super violate did not mean kill at all. Other things mean kill. I'm not going to tell y'all because how would I know? But I'm also not going to tell y'all so y'all can't start throwing them in raps and acting like y'all cool. How about that? Anyway, um, the when if the word came from male matrix that that uh shoddy should uh be the i'm not gonna say front man but be the handler for takashi 69 who isn't to say that at one point or another male matrix had spoken to jim jones about it and jim jones told or said that it was probably a good idea now with all of that being said 
Takashi 69 you did get ostracized often often for everybody that don't know these guys live in strip clubs when I say live in strip clubs there's a reason why most music sound like it should be played in a strip club executive music executives that's where they go test out music they go to a strip club they play the music they see how the the dances and everybody else how the shit pop off how everything roll if it, if it bangs in the strip club that means it's, it's a hit you feel what I'm saying <laughs> that's a that's a fact though you can look that up all right all that's a fact now with all that being said i think one of the main things that i'm trying to convey with this particular uh, message that i'm talking about and this is going to be more stuff that we're going to be talking about more in the future is i have no idea zero idea why people are assuming that jim jones needs to be um incarcerated and or locked up because i know for a fact that i have friends that might not be on the best side of the law I'm just saying, we all know people that we say, that guy might be up to something, but we like him. But that doesn't make me complicit in any crimes. If homeboy come up to me and say, yo, do you think that I should work with this guy? But he doesn't tell me exactly what the work is. And I say, yeah, that guy looks like a nice guy. I work with him. And then they go do some shenanigans. That doesn't make me complicit in the shenanigans. So I think that we need to const we need to give um individuals a little bit of a wide berth just because somebody has a foot in the street because they know people in the street that don't mean that they got their whole body in there and they and they they putting in work so with all that being said jim jones and takashi 69 has an extreme strained relationship um from what i'm hearing there was a point where takashi 69 actually would have liked to be embraced by jim jim did not embrace him and the one of the reasons why it's being told to me that jim didn't embrace him and i'm sorry to say this is is because takashi 69 did have rainbow hair takashi 69 is not necessarily the um the demographic of an individual who is associated with hip-hop music so he wasn't taken very seriously and there were a lot of people who thought that he did not deserve to be in rap now with all of that said listen to this next thing that i'm saying mel matrix got on the phone with jim jones as soon as the breakfast club interview was over now if mel matrix is busy saying shoddy a very never another very important situation or point told shoddy you need to be the front man for takashi 69 what makes you think that he didn't get that information from jim jones if jim jones is also the one that we can quite quite clearly hear on the audio saying that takashi needed to be super violated which basically just meant you know somebody needed to go embarrass him rough him up something i mean at the end of the day let's just be perfectly honest who wouldn't want somebody embarrassed that went on on national radio right and said the things that takashi said about um you know associates of theirs so i just want to put that out there um we might talk about this a little bit more we basically talking about it right now because i had an individual call on my show and they was talking about a lot of jim jones stuff and um i'm not saying that the individual is wrong i'm pretty sure like with everything there's truth in there and there's uh misinformation you know a lot of times we think we're saying the right thing and what in reality we're just saying is our own pers perspective of the situation and so those things need to be taken into light so let me know what y'all think about this the fact that um jim jones even though he did not really deal with takashi 69 didn't care for him whatsoever but he did send people to actually help protect takashi 69 and keep his career up and not for nothing though let's not act like takashi 69 wasn't the bag let's not act like that wasn't true so having these people around um takashi 69 was actually helping jim jones in a different manner because i let me just say this real quick jim jones uh basically went broke carrying people and one of the reasons you know bad money management also because don't forget we all from the hood but he was actually helping to carry quite a few people as he was having his own financial issues so for everybody that want to bash jim jones y'all might be bashing the wrong guy he might he might not be an angel but he might not be the devil either anyway let me know what y'all guys think leave it down in the comment section um do y'all think jim jones deserved the shit he get 
Are you still a little skeptical over the fact that he didn't do any time when he got caught with the weed, even though he has a damn weed dispensary? He has a weenery, a weedery. I don't know what to call them damn things. Um, are you still a little skeptical over the situation? Do you think that there's a chance that he, he possibly did do any snitching? I personally don't know of any snitching at all that Jim did. So if anybody is saying, asking me personally, I'm going to say I don't think so. But let me know what y'all guys think. Leave it down in the comment section. And um, is anybody ready for the possible Takashi trolling Jim? For the possible. Because check this out. <laughs> I'm going to say something real funny real quick. Remember, Takashi called Jim a retired rapper. Jim just put up a rap studio in his crib the other day. Him and his son is going to be working on some tracks. And not for nothing, Jim got some bangers. He, like, I, I tell you this right now. Jim is not the best rapper in Dipset, but Jim's swag is on a billion. <laughs> he got some bangers, and that's a whole fact. Anyway, uh, leave the comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. Like comment subscribe join the notification gang hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one i'm out if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes please leave a comment all comments are appreciated whether positive or negative Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?